We are recording Athletics LLC, lovely people. Another weekend, five years. And we're we're about uh, well, not about. Yeah, we're about halfway through the season already too. So crazy, crazy, crazy. So welcome one, welcome all. Another good evening of. <laughs> you already missed an hour of banter, so we'll just keep the bantering going. But other than that, uh, Governor Milton, aw. Boo. How are you today, sir? I know. Seriously. <clears throat> um, I'm all right. I'm good. I'm uh I thought I could escape whatever was floating around the team. Saturday night. <laughs> oh my he's mother. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> so today was the first day of not you know no more non-stop coughing you know waking myself up at 4 a.m in the morning like you know so i'm I'm okay we we still got a little bit of hoarseness but other than that i'm all right good well welcome back to healthiness clyde how are you tonight sir you know just kind of wading through the chaos that is, enjoying the stories <laughs> I hear from others, you know. Yep. 16-foot swell, how are you? Uh, I'm really good. Um, I, I will say this. Uh, I have, as, as you can tell by my name, I have the hurricane and all my Floridian people on the brain. But every single person I've talked to who lives in Florida seems incredibly cavalier about all of this, mm -hmm. including, including my friend who lives in St. Pete. His exact words were, we're 31 to 31 feet above sea level. I bought a generator. We'll be fine. That's cool. Okay. I, but, I mean, that's all I can say is sweet. I will still be praying for every single person I know that lives in Florida because it seems like two hurricanes in seven days is a lot, but, what do I know? That's why you don't live there. That is absolutely why I don't live there. <laughs> well, health, safety, and assistance to all those in that Florida area that is affected and those who are still recovering from the last one. Um, I hear it's getting better, but they're going to keep needing support. So I hope we all are able to support them however we can in the capacity that we can get them help with the most efficiently. But Athletics LLC, what we can do is talk about this madness. And by this madness, we're going to start off with this thing called the Cubic Zirconia League. Just kidding. The Diamond wow. League. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Jeez. All right. That was, I love the violence already. Wow. Because <clears throat> okay. we don't we don't know yet. We don't know. It's this okay. new this new formatting, right? There are different things that we have to consider. So we're gonna call it a fake until it's real. Oof. So I'll call it the CZ until until we move on to see it. <laughs> I, I, but before before the governor really explains this to everybody, I just personally think that what we're gonna find out more so than anything this year, I mean, should I say what the meat directors are gonna find out is who is actually important and who thought they were important. Yeah. Indeed. That's what I think is going to happen. That, and that will cut both ways, both the meets themselves and the athletes. Yeah. <laughs> Look, 100. Well, go ahead, uh, Governor, explain, because yes. we did loosely get into this before. So yes. what, what is the slant today? Well, <clears throat> so the question I think on everybody's minds that actually are track nerds or that are invested in our sport is the idea that the world championships are now at the end of the season. Okay. It's the last meet on the schedule. And basically the question is now, okay, as a professional athlete, as a Diamond League 
uh, regular. How does that jive with your season? Okay. For decades, we have dealt with world championships kind of cutting the season in half, right? And I think that today's athletes have kind of seized on that opportunity because what have we seen in the last couple of years? They go to USAs, they qualify, they, they have a couple qualif uh, qualifying meets, they go over to Europe if they want to, right? And then they go to Worlds, they get their medals, and then they chunk the deuces. And they're like, you know what? We're good. We're good. So I, you know, the, you know, a couple of things that have caught my eye include the fact that there is now a bona fide track season from May to September. Yeah. Right? And four months, all, by the way. Four months. Four months. Okay. Yeah. And not only that, depending on where you stand and depending on what you're trying to accomplish, well, may, 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 maybe it's points, maybe you're trying to get to the Diamond League final, maybe you're trying to do all these things. The strategy that you have to employ and the amount of thinking that goes into how you put your season together. And the major thing, I think, is USA championships now are no longer in June next 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 year. They're later on in the season. The uh, end of July. And the end of July. I mean, when look, the, look, we're being nice. It's July 31st, August 1st, and August 2nd. Okay. <laughs> so a lot is 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 on the menu. I think there is a lot to ponder. I think there's a lot to consider in terms of how you're going to put your season together and and majorly are you going to actually compete for an entire season because let's just say you go to USA's in August you still got more than a month before worlds so you got to compete right yeah. So is this new season going to hold people on, make people honest? Is this new season going to challenge them more? The folks that like to get their points early, you now can do that in April. Mm -hmm. You can kick off your season in earnest in April. I just looked at it. So between China and Japan, you can go over there and hang out for the entire month of April and go and make some will. coin. And people right? will. And people will. So it's, I just think there's a lot of food for thought. Um, I just wanted to see, you know, with the panel, what you guys think about how this is going to affect even just the way that you approach the season. I mean, one of the things that's obvious is that this new reconfigured season definitely uh, is, is a good thing for European-based athletes by far. Yes, and I, I mean equally bad thing for collegiate yeah. athletes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Al so almost as equally bad thing for U.S. athletes who don't train someplace with a with a clue and mm -hmm. a plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let let me try to be succinct, but it's going to be long. <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all. For the people who are complaining mm -hmm. that the season is so long now. Oh, yeah. Guys, it's not. It's we are a professional sport. Last time someone told me mm -hmm. and the idea that a professional sport would last for six months. Sounds like every other professional sport to me. <laughs> yep. Hockey season, <laughs> basketball season, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sounds about normal to me. So Absolutely. I don't I don't want to hear any of that. Not to mention all of those people did a six-month season when they were in college. Yeah. Right. Hell. 
Now, I have been on the, I do not agree. I have never agreed with the powers that be taking steps to make collegiates lives more difficult on the quote unquote pro scene, AKA making teams getting medals. I've mm -hmm. always been against that, but I've always been on the mind in the minority with that. And for all you people who swear it was unfair that the collegiates could have their time and then come in and take our spots at nationals. Well, they just handed you a big ass gift because it is way more unlikely that that will happen now. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you're complaining about with that either. You got exactly what you want. Our sport, as we know, is very Eurocentric. So the, the new aligning of said schedules kind of solves almost all the problems that people like to bitch and complain about <laughs> because it absolutely helps the Eurocentric crowd and athletic endeavors. It absolutely makes life a little bit harder on the Americans who dominate the scene. It basically will eliminate the collegiates crashing the party. And it's the same duration of time as any other professional sport calendar. So I don't know what everybody's bitching about. Now, personally, this year, world championships are um, uh, Japan. Mm -hmm. So in the early part of the year, if I'm a professional athlete and I have the status to get into the early meets who are primarily in the Asian market, I could think of a lot worse ways to spend my time than post mm -hmm. up in Japan for 30 days and take some cheap flights and learn my way around and get my points off. Sound like a normal thing to me, mm -hmm. you know, but, but again, you know, what do I know? I'm just, you know, mid major guy over here. So, you know, there are so many ways that you can navigate this and navigate it. Well, it just takes, you know, strategic thinking and people getting out of their feelings. But at the end of the day, what I actually think this will really expose is a, a comedic fallout of those who chase medals versus those who chase dollars. Hmm. And there's a bunch of people in our game that think chasing dollars is the way to prosperity. And they forget that the more medals you can acquire is where all the dollars actually are. Mm -hmm. So if you're not in a situation that lends you to qualifying for your team and being able to go get those medals, your life's probably going to get a lot worse. The, the funny thing that won't happen, and I'm not suggesting that it should happen, but in a professionalism, pure professionalism model with the schedule structured correctly as it currently is, what you would want to do is get rid of all of the national governing body qualifications for worlds and just send the people to the world championships who have formulated their points to get in two world championships. Now, does that mean you're going to end up with nine Americans in the hurdles? Yeah, it does. <laughs> but they're not going to let that happen. So we still have to go to nationals and qualify and make these teams. But if it was truly going to be professional, you know, like golf, if the top nine people in the world are just so happen to be from America, well, you know, you do what you do. But, you know, that's my that's how I see the schedule. I think it's going to just expose a lot of idiots and and their coaches. <laughs> and you're going to see a lot of people fumble the bag. And it's going to be entertaining. But at the end of the day, you still got to come to Eugene, Oregon to make this team. So <laughs> from the American perspective, you, you better be ready at the end of July, a.k.a. August 1st. I, uh, I will take said baton and, and run. I'm going to run the short leg, i.e. I'm not going to talk that long. Um, what I think is going to be very interesting is, and I, you know, I, I get called the hyperbolists because sometimes I say things that seem, you know, outrageous, but they usually kind of come close to being true. 
Does anybody realize there's a great number of people who have never really run for real in August? Mm -hmm. Like there's a great number of people whose seasons end at USA's mm -hmm. in June or July. Yep. But now in theory, you know, whatever the usual coffers are to fill for USA's are going to be filled with at least half the people who have never run in August. Right. So like that in and of itself is going to be interesting and entertaining. Let's go further. <laughs> there are people who are going to run in August who never have, who are going to make worlds and they've definitely never run in September. Right. And I say that because if you just turn on Instagram, you can already see the pictures and the videos are starting to show up of people trying to show off what they're doing by ways of training. And I chuckle because mm -hmm. I'm like, it's early October. The meet is 11 months from now. Yep. It, it, it's a, it's a long time from now. Should you be doing something? Absolutely. Should you be doing things that are like inter internet worthy? Probably not. <laughs> Should you be on a track in spikes unless you're in college, right? Unless you got college people. It, I just chuckle. So it'll be interesting. Um, you know, as as our, our colleague Sir Lucius always says, the coaches who the coaches who know how to coach will have their people ready whenever the meet is. So those are not the people we're talking about. But to the average folk and the people who are trying to ascend in this business, this is your opportunity to get out your notebook and learn some things this year. Yeah. Yeah. Because this, and I hope it goes like this for the rest of, of all of our lives, this is the beginning of a professional track season. Yeah. This is what it looks like, folks. Where it has a start and a legitimate end every year. This is what it looks like. So one parallel to the actual Diamond League um, conversation. If you have looked at the calendar, let's make sure I get this right first. I'm not quite sure how USA is going to do it because we just stated that USA Championships is going to be July 31st to August 2nd. Yep. But the NACAC senior meet is June 28th through 30th. The NACAC U23 meet is July 18th through 20th. Mm -hmm. um, this is the assumption that the U20 meet is at the same time, which is not a safe assumption, but I haven't seen the U20 meet for USA has been uh, published yet. Um, but the Pan Am U20 meet is August 8th through the 10th. What what's uh, most entertaining about what you just said is because you're looking at the at the at the calendar. When is World Relays again? April, May 11th. May, I'm sorry, May 11th. So, so you May to June, June to July, July to August. So it's almost four months before our championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with that, I that was that was the thing that I've been thinking about the most, right? Because. Three we're supposed to be we're sorry. supposed to be using that as our indicator as to who we're sending to to respective meets beyond besides well, to, to say say again the U twenty three and the U twenty dates U twenty three is July eighteenth through the twentieth. Okay. Pan Am's is August eighth through the tenth. A week yeah. later. Well, I mean it's it's a simple solution but of course we like to make things complicated the one that precedes actual usa championships you just got to invite the people who are running the fastest at the time and ask them if they want to go i mean that's usually what they do when they when, when we end up having those deals like when they had I mean, wasn't pan ams last year like in a funky time it was like before usa's because we ended up i know that the decathletes we sent got asked from the yeah, same order list from the year before yeah, and I mean there there is there these lists do exist. There's, it's not like they're secret. It's just we like to make things really like gross and complicated and 
you know, act as if that's not happening. Like if they would just step out and be like, hey, come April 1st, May 1st, we're going to send out these invites based on the United States descending order list at that time for the age appropriate people to qualify. Mm -hmm. It's really not that hard to do. Now, all anything that happens post USA's, of course, you could use USA's to extract, you know, the team that way. And it's not an Olympic year. So in theory, you could run the U20 meet at the same time as USA's. But that actually gets weird because it's one thing to have professionals show up for their thing in end of July, early mm-hmm. August. It's another thing to ask the children to do that. And so that was my asking other. the children to, to do so, that, that, that timeline is going to bump head to head with the traditional timelines of AAU Junior Olympics and USATF Junior Olympics. Mm-hmm. So you might want to figure that one out. Yep. So those are my two points in regards to the USA stuff and, and the movement of that. Um, in regards to the Diamond League, I do think, I don't know if good is the right word, but I do like how it kind of makes the collegians wait. They have to push pause on like, they have to finish their collegiate season in theory, for the most part, if the Diamond League moves pre June ish, right? Because even mm-hmm. the involvement after June is going to be minimal in theory. So I do like that. I do because then it separates the quote unquote amateurism to the professionalism. You're one of those people, huh? I am one of those people because we're asking for professionalism and we're asking for a delineation But because we keep graying this area, we have, what, what is it? Professionals. And I'm, I'm speaking specifically to the collegiate rise. Right. But I do think in that aspect, the broke professionals are going to get exposed because now they can't just be broke professionals racing to win money. Because now you have to be more strategic as to what you're doing. It's still going to a culminating event. You I mean, know, what's funny is I, I think there's going to be fewer spots for broke for, for broke professionals to race in. And, and the reason I say that is there are going to be more A-level and B-level people who will actually race in those races in July because they need them to make sure they're sharp for our championships in August. So that's what right? I'm saying it, about the you know, like, it, like there's, I think there's going to be fewer broke professional spots. Like, sure, if you want to show up in Nike kit that you bought and run a Florida Relays in April, ain't nobody going to stop you and nobody's going to fight you over that because no, because the smart people know that they don't really need to do that. But if you're trying to go, like, I can tell you this right now, all of Paul Doyle's meets are going to be hot now. Because they are competitions that are necessary in the dates and on U.S. soil. So that like there's going to be most most people who have smaller contracts or an aversion to Europe are going to call Paul on the phone. Uh, Can you put in a fourth heat of the hurdles? (laughs) Sure. But but you 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 lost me with the broke professionals comparison because. The quote unquote professional problem is not the collegiates. No, all, that was all... two separate, two separate, two separate. Okay. Uh, okay. Fair. Sorry. Right. Because that's why I said, I was like, oh, you're one of those people because all this does. And again, I'm not claiming anti American conspiracy here, but it's just the reality of the fallout. Getting the USA meet so far away from the end of the NCAA season. Mm -hmm. simply is going to make the team, the USA team, worse. Based on the last 20 years of history, when there's always collegiates who make the team, a.k.a. they were the best of the top three of what we do in this nation. So if those people ultimately can no longer make the team because the schedule is so impossible, ultimately you're going to make the team worse. And whatever. So so I'll just jump in there really quick. I would say statistically that's not true. And the reason I say that is because as much as our U.S. team has always had a bunch of collegians, there aren't usually that many collegians that win medals. No, but, but they and, do need they do need those meets for the experience, right? 
like that's the that's the the you that's the world championship or or whatever that we accept you going and not necessarily doing that well because you need that one for experience. So I get what you're saying, but yeah. I yeah, mean, it, I mean I, the 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 more the most current example that that rings in my brain, and it's no disrespect because we are all huge fans of hers. In this example with this timeline, does Mackenzie Long make the team like she just did? I don't think so. I don't think she comes off of what the the glorious performances that she had at NCAA's waits waits two months and then and then makes the the Olympic team. I, I don't see that. Like that's a really big ass. Now maybe maybe she could, but that's a lot more difficult than what it already was. You know what I mean? So those are the kind of situations that I'm saying. I think historically, the early USA championships have not produced amazing results because of how late people start their seasons. I think you put USA's at the end of July and you have up until that point, if these kids choose to, they're two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 opportunities to go race. If you choose to, I think you're going to have very, very seasoned professionals ready to go. Oh, yeah. And I think, I think USA's are going to be insane. I think in that regard, NCAA athletes are, are going to be, they're going to have trouble. I think they're going to have trouble at that meet. I'm excited to see what the, what happens because the reason, like, like I said earlier, and, and we definitely, I know we need to move on because, you know, we got a lot coming, but, but I'll say this. I'm excited to see how people handle a real professional season. Yeah. That, that's what I am. I, I am excited to, because let's be honest, it was always an amalgus, right? Like as a pro, some portion of your pro season was you were you were required to race a bunch of collegians mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be it in april or may you didn't have a choice there's almost no there's no almost no pro meets i think there aren't any pro meets on u.s soil in those two in those two months maybe the adidas meet is i don't know that one's in may right the one where they yeah. run on the street and they run the straight 150 and all that yeah 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 but i mean for the most part just about every meet that you start your season with is filled filled with collegians. Yeah. So it, it, like like I said, I, I'm very interested to see how we as a sport handle the professionalism of it. <laughs> I, I actually think in that regard, I think it's going to force a lot of hands because yeah, I do mm -hmm. too. Because yeah. <laughs> from from a collegiate perspective, and I'm not talking about like my school or anything, but like imagine Kareem Street Thompson. NCAA champion or NCAA All American is you know top top five top six in the U.S. at the time. Mm -hmm. School's like yeah, nah, we ain't paying for all of that. We're not. Yeah. We're not keeping you here to go through all of that. Exactly. Green would be like, oh, for real? You mm -hmm. not? All right. Well, I guess that means blah 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot of that. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a lot of that. I think it's gonna be a lot of that. I also think there's going to be some schools. I mean, there's some tough decisions you have to make. If you know Worlds is in September and you know school starts in September, it's um, different. Hello. It's just different. Yeah. So. Yikes. So that was a good one. I mean, the, the <laughs> wheels are going to keep turning on that one. Yeah, right? absolutely. That's definitely an evolving point. So um, we'll keep talking about, we'll keep bringing it back every couple of a month or so, too. Um, all right. So what you all are really here for is for this <laughs> World Athletics Fantasy Draft. Can I ask a question? No. Because, you know, you, you get all the, you get all the emails. <laughs> Look, and you the... keep talking anyway. I don't know why he has. <laughs> that's because that's I'm the EP. I was asking to be nice. You get all the emails and such. Have you gotten any comments about your initial picks? Hold on, let me make sure. The first when I first looked, no, I didn't. Because I've gotten a couple, comments. I've gotten a couple of phone calls about your first picks. What What did the phone call say? We We, we were like, no, I can't. I can't believe she fumbled that bag. Is the, the general consensus? Yeah, I know. All right, so I hope you actually do know. We don't need to torture Chewy. Let's get let's, let's get to it. 
who's up, who got the first pick? Uh, I love it. So I did get, I got a two for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <give> yourself, huh? <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, should we change our names to our shoe companies? <laughs> no, because we're done with it. No, but now we actually are those shoe companies. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Well, anyway, Team Adidas, also known as the governor, mm-hmm. you, you, it is your pick. And it, it's 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 fantasy style. He gets one. Yes. And then your punk ass gets two on the back end. That is correct. <laughs> and then he will get he will get two on the other yeah, end. Yeah, nah. This is this is complete bullshit. Being in the middle so, is is trash. So I have Zach, a question. Zach, you are, ain't shit. Are we going to are we going to stay? G- gendered from round to round. Yes. You okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Don't no, don't listen. You've already set the table for yourself as good as you can. Don't How don't set set the first. table. <laughs> I probably had the opportunity to rig this game and I didn't. That's all I that, can tell you. Listen. Sure. Well, sure. Sure, Elon. Let let's go. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. Never. Oh, anyway, wow. Adidas, what you got? Chewy, you got the rough 30-second clock? I mean, we... Oh, no, I, I got the 30-second clock hey, now. Thank you. I was like, I'm I'm utilizing a lot of tools right now at one point. Is this men or women? So you said a 30-second clock. You choose. We will follow you, sir. So Your time running, boss. How much time we just, We're trying to decide whether it's women or men. Five seconds left. No, stop. We need to decide whether you're starting with women or men. Then you can start the clock. I'm, I'm starting with men. Okay. Men first. 30-second clock. Uh, Emmanuel one 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 Dang it! I'm I part of this is. That. I was gonna say part of this is me typing the right names in there. I do have it, but all right. Two is Team Puma. Thirty second clock. Okay. Um. Jakob. Okay. Got Inga Britson. Oh. Well, it's my pick and we're on men. We are on men and it is team New Balance. That's a boho. Okay. Um, the Huffster. Got to make sure. I can take Noah, right? Isn't he available? Yes. He is. Okay. He is. So I'm going to take Noah. And uh, without further ado, I am. I'm. I'm going to take Juju. No, 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 no. Oh, We're all in. We're on men. You're on men. That's it. Sir, that's, it. that's the end of the round. We go back to nah. women. We're what supposed to do all about? the men, all the men, and then all the okay, women. So you're high. We're not letting Kareem have the first pick on each gender <laughs> every time. That doesn't make any sense. The whole point of the serpentine is that we change from one thing to another. You can't just write everything on the card in Uno. You just can't do that. <laughs> exactly. Again, like I said, I will take Juju. Next. Crash. All right. So then. Thanks, Chu. New Balance. Which female would you like? I, I don't know, because clearly <laughs> the rules were were off. The, fuck? the rules are not off. Don't act like anybody cheated you. Um, <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm I I'll take shit. Yeah, I'll take Gabby. I was like, you're on Team New Balance, and she's available. <laughs> no, I, I mean, that's fine, but I, I'm thinking down the clock here. I got you. 30 seconds. Go, Chewy. Is it me? Yeah. Oh, it is. It is you. My screen's not refreshing. Um, dang it. Uh... Um, Bag I will, will be fumbled go in three, with two. <laughs> if 
10K. Oh. Right. You, just, you just beat the clock. Okay. Uh, I, I have a question. Yes. And another thing we didn't establish. If you fail to get your pick in before my alarm goes off, what's oh, the punishment? Man. Oh, I mean, Lord. I think the obvious punishment is you forfeit your turn. I'm cool you with that. No I just want to hear you say You it. get no pick whatsoever. Yo, I there's, there's no other hear you say you could possibly please. get. Okay. I just wanted to hear you say well, it. I mean, here's a, here. Well, you got two options. You can either forfeit that pick or you can forfeit the next pick. Which one would y'all prefer? Neither. No, I mean, that's what the <laughs> It's got to be one or the other. You either get that pick and forfeit your next round, or you don't get that pick. Which would you prefer, Governor? I, let, let, Chewy, let's be clear. He's not saying that you never get to pick it. That he's saying when the draft is all done, mm-hmm. you can go pick oh. somebody at that at so that time. So I heard, I heard you don't get a, you get. It's a, not no, no, you we're not going to give you. We're not going to give you a lesser roster. Yeah, like in, in you number. Just get, if you miss your time, your pick goes to the end of the draft. All right, yes. so that's fine. Let's just do okay. that one on, on the right. pick. So we're on okay. Adidas. Adidas. And it's, yeah, you got 60 seconds to make your two picks. You got a female and then a male. Um, um Faith has been picked yet? Nope. No. Uh, give me Kippy Aegon. Why would you have the Barry White voice just now? Because my voice is going. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, let me think here. Um, I need y'all to pick can hear your... my little buzzer going off, right? Huh? No, because we're picking before it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'll go with Picardo. Okay. So now it's. You. It's me. Yes. Okay. It is starting now. And I'm on. And I'm on guys, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going with. We're home. Thank you, Chewy. Why? Because now I can have Rye. Oh, I don't care about that. Ooh. Woo. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was Me worried too. about that one. It is the Huster's turn. Yes. I'm going to take the world's greatest thrower. Joe Kovac? Krauser. <laughs> Ryan Krauser. <laughs> oh. And... Oh, let's just double it up. I'll take Val, too. Almond? Yep. All right. All right. So now I'm on women? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well. Eh. Could do that. It's a little early for that. I, I'm gonna take um, the the uh, Paulino. It's already been taken. Yeah, I took Paulino. Oh, really? I started. I started mm-hmm. with Paulino. Oh, yeah, was that that was the original? Yeah. Oh, keep his keep uh, okay. That's my Adidas girl. Ah, touche. Okay. Well, then you know what? I'll take uh, I'll take Rogers. I'll take Cam. Good. Okay. Grown. It's my turn, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, Hassan. Stefan Hassan. Mm-hmm. Adidas, female. Uh, oh, well. Well, go ahead. I was going to say, could we get a quick review of the original people taken? Yes. For- no right so, so we can we can stop after after Kareem picks because then we everybody will have had six. So okay, we can okay. Quick. All, All right. right. I'm on the clock, right? Yeah. Yes. 
Um, give me Kitaguchi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went off the wrong women's. Now I don't know how to spell it. I definitely don't know how to spell it. I, I wrote it so I could so I could know who it was. All right, All right. So here I can do that. Uh, the original people that were kept were Team Adidas kept Grant and Paulino. Team Puma took Mondo and Elaine. Uh, team New Balance took Lil Q and Sid, and Team Nike took uh, Nike Foot Fred and Shakari. That's right. So we are now back to Team Adidas for men. And go. Um, give me Bednarek. Ken Dog. Mm. Um, I'm going with. Nagoose. Hmm. Yard Nagoose is loose. New balance. Um I'm gonna take the take the world champion. Okay. <laughs> In one event. I'm the, I'm the <laughs> Olympic champion, I'm sorry. Are you taking Cole? Of what? Yeah. Oh okay. I didn't know if you were staying in the same event. Sorry. Uh, he just wanted to hear me squeal, so that's fire. Because somehow he knew that was my next pick. That's okay. I had one in my pocket. I will take the parkour champion, also known as the triple Olympic champion in long jump. Tent Toglu. Tent Toglu. All right, go for the women. Ooh, okay. Eh, you know what? I'm running it on this field event tip, and I got a whole lot of gold medals. I'm going to just add to it. Uh, I can't say her name. Uh, the high jumper, female. World record holder. Yes, world record holder and Olympic gold medalist. Uh, uh, somebody help me pronounce her name because I'm not going to butcher it on the camera. It's not hard. <laughs> I, yeah, that doesn't mean I'm not going to mess it up. Mahuchik. See? Mahuchik. Yes. Because I think the last time I said Mahuchik, of course he would. New I mean, it wasn't on purpose. New Balance woman. Oh. Um. God. I'm so unhappy. <laughs> you sound like your son. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I, I went down the field event line already, so um, I, I will take uh, the GOAT triple jumper uh, returning. You know what I mean? Okay. Wait. Who? Shoot. I don't know who you, your GOAT is. Okay, Rojas. I don't know who your GOAT is. Ain't no your GOAT. There's only one. <laughs> Female this, this ain't one of them. Own, this ain't one of those one. debates. <laughs> Uh, is it me? Yes. It is me. Um, I'm going to go with Tara Davis Woodall. Mr. Jimmy, that was, a good, that was a good pick. That was a very good pick. Thanks. So I guess Who's... I'm paying attention this week or more lively into it. Yep. Who's next? Nike. Oh no, it's you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it is Adidas. <laughs> it is Adidas. Camacho Quinn. Ah, uh, that was next on my list. Good job. J C Q. All right, give me a guy. That's what she uh... said. That is what she said. <laughs> Y'all are immature as fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Um, Sufe Al Bakali. Oh my Gina. It's just a cut above. It's what he is. Hold on. L Bakali. I think that's right. <sighs> the Puma. Um I'm sorry, are we on we're, what are we? We're on men? Men. We're on yes. men. You're you're on one, two, three, four, five. Number male male number five. Gotcha. Um well shit. No, it's Puma. No, it's, it's me. Not your turn. It's me. It's it's you. Um, oh. I'm gonna go with Big Joe. Whoa. And there it is. Why? Nada. I'd say nothing. I just have commentary. It's internal. Well, it it was just external, sir. I know. It was supposed to be internal is my point. <laughs> New balance. So now it is my turn and we're still on men. Correct. Yes and yes. Yes, Diddy, we're still on men. Wow. Uh, no, we're not we're not here for any of that. Uh, Jesus Christ. This dude here. That's ridiculous. Um I I will Diddy said. Anyway. Stop. I, I will take uh I will take a Lechna. See, get off my sheet. You know I'm trying to do all the field events. Nike. Oh, I don't want to lose this guy because I like him. So I'm going to pick Christian Coleman. Okay, women. La, da, da. Let's see. What superstar female has not been taken yet? You know, since I, I assume we're going to be doing some level of scoring at some point in time during these meets, I'm going to take a future pick. Uh, I'm going to take Grace Stark. I knew you would do that eventually. Mm -hmm. Trying to, I was trying to figure when you would do that, but I knew you would do that eventually. Well, I, don't, I didn't think I was ever going to get to her because I thought I had a shot at JCQ, but she gone. All right. Uh, New Balance, it's you. It's all. It's on me. You. It's on you. And for the record, we're going to add a total of four more women to our roster. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're going to add five because you have a you have a female pick now. Correct. Your your roster will be nine men and nine women. You currently have four women. Got you. Okay. It's your pick. Yeah, 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 no, that's full. That's fine. Um, I'll for now. I will take. Uh, I will take Keeley. Oh, Hodgkins. Is her last name Hodgkins or Hodgkins? Hodgkinson. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go with. Oh no. Um. Fang. Thin Fang, the Chinese discus -er. Oh, I like her. Adidas, you're female, then you're male, please. Ooh. Female, then male. Hmm. I'll take Dos Santos. I oh, that's it. male. That's male. Okay. Either way. Well, well, we'll put him on there for you. Yeah. So I'll go chapter guy, and then that's another male. I'm about to say, yeah, no, no, that you can't do. <laughs> you need a woman. Sorry. Yes. Chibet. Okay. Beatrice Chibet. Yeah. 
And then I'll go chapter guy. Chapter guy. Oh, no DeSantos. He, he threw DeSantos back in the pool. I did. Got it. So then I'm on a guy now. And I am going to go with... Ain't I number three? Oh, or he's a yes, top. you are, but she's number two. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, Sambine. Mm. Now you are number three. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I guess it has to be done at some point. Um, I'll I'll, I'll take Keyshane. Got it. Nikki. Okay. Oh, so I have a guy and then a girl. Correct. I will take uh, Anderson Peters. Good. All that coming. And hmm. Oh hell! I'll just stay in this. I'll stay in my lane. Uh, Chase Ely Jackson. Jackson. That's her last name. Of course, that's what he's doing. All right. I mean, listen. I am who I am. Right. Hey, man, hey, you gotta play your game your way, baby. I'm I'm close to accomplishing my goal in this game. I, I hope y'all don't screw it up. Make your pick. It's on me. Yep. We're on women. Yep. Okay. I I'm going I'm going to go ahead and roll with uh, Miss Dina. I almost picked her last time. You got Asher Smith. And it's me, right? Uma. Mahambo. Somebody's trying to dominate the women's long jump. <laughs> right. I got it. Don't worry about me. I, hey, I didn't say anything bad. <laughs> uh, Governor Milton. Uh huh. You got a female, then a male. Okay. So female then a male. Let's go female. <sighs> Give me Messiah Russell. Ooh, that was coming. <laughs> the Santos was snoop swooped up, right? Yeah. No, nah, he's still on the board. Nope. He's still on oh, the no, way. You, took him. you, you threw him back in the water and he's still there. Dos Santos, baby. Let's uh -huh. go. Yeah, I'll take Ariane. Um, it's not your turn. Damn it. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it isn't. It isn't. It is you two. Just, it is not. One, two, three. You three, are three. Two, one. <laughs> you uh, can't be uh, after him. <laughs> uh, hey, anybody want to guess who two is going to take? Boy. Two's not going to do that because that's not who she was going to pick. And she's not going to no. be a dick. Just One of the self-proclaimed <laughs> best Two. spades players in the world. Two. What are you doing? Would, would make a mistake like that. Wow. You're absolutely oh right. God. And I projected the mistake because I did it before two rounds ago when I fought. Oh, man. Which way we were going. 
But Chu's not going to do that because she has somebody else in mind anyway. Chu, what is wrong with you? Why would you not do that? You already fumbled the bag once. Don't do that. Don't give it to him. Do not give him Ariana Knight. Chu, take the person you were going to take. I guarantee you whoever you were going to take is going to be available when it comes back to you. I guarantee it. Oh, there's no chance. That's okay. I will give it to him. See? Wow. I'm going with Ethan Katzberg. Yeah, that's a terrible pick. (laughs) Okay. Katzberg would have been there the next time it came around. Absolutely. I know. Like I, I understand that, and that's okay. I have no yeah. strategies. You know what? I She's will definitely, nice. I will definitely be taking Arion now. Thank yeah, you. That's yeah. absolute hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ben's pick, then women's pick, Mister Swell. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I want to protest right now. That was, <laughs> no, sir. That was absolute trash. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I know Arion wasn't getting to me anyway, so he might have though. He he, I'm surprised I got him where I got him. Uh, yeah, it's, it's outrageous. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take Mutaz Barshim. Is he coming back? No, that's why I'm making this. Is video. he retiring? He already Did that happen? his retirement. Well, okay, that, well, that's his problem. I didn't know that. You can't take somebody who's <laughs> not. A, you can't pick somebody who's not in the league, sir. That's not that's a what thing. What you mean? Oh, what you mean? This is track. retired. He's not in the league. You can't. What choose. you mean? They know what you listen. Show listen, Arion. You don't get to talk, Arion. This is that's beautiful. A you problem. No, nope. this, is, this is not our issue. That's outrageous, and it's not happening. Um, <laughs> that's not our problem. Who do I want to take? How y'all you know what? Like uh, is Big Q still available? The Olympic champion in the 400? He is. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll take Big Q. Women. We're, we're back to women now? Yep. Okay. You're still picking. Yeah. So it is I my, tu- it is my no, turn. It is no. my turn. It's oh. his turn. Can't count to four. <laughs> uh, I'll take Katie Moon. Very nice. Got it. Three. To be clear, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, there this are three more women joining my team. Yes, including this pick that you're about to announce. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Yes. This I, I like, get this one, and I, I have two more with women to go. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Make my make sure I don't blow, blow my clock here. I'm sorry. Uh, what did you just say? Blow the clock. I said, make sure. Oh, I don't... okay. Careful. Pause. 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 <laughs> Careful. What, what is Careful. going on? Um, I, I will. I will take Miss Mackenzie Long. Interesting. I am going with Akira Nugent. Mister mm-hmm. Milton. What am I picking? Uh, female, female, then a male. Female, then a male. Hmm. All right. Female. Um, give me Mary Mara. Good call. And give me Marco Arup. Oh, you mother damn sucker. It. Damn it. I, you mother sucker. <laughs> I was now really one, hoping, I was really hoping hurt. I'd get back to that, but <laughs> that was, know. that was my next pick. Not going to lie. I love that guy. I absolutely love that guy. I haven't met him. I'd love to meet him. Um, I am going to go with... I feel like... 
I'm going to do this one. Pops Kessler. Ride with the mojo. Mr. Number three. Okay. And there's, I have this pick and one more male, correct? Correct. Okay. Do a quick little, quick little check here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, man, I'm going to take Courtney Lindsay. Hmm. Hmm. That was an interesting one. I told you I, have, I started this with very specific goals, and I think, I think I'm going to land them. I think I'm going to make it there. Uh, is Matthew Hudson Smith still available? Yes. yes. Okay, I will take MHS. That's funny. That's mm -hmm. literally what I just wrote down. And on the women's side, oh. Absolute duh. Uh, I will take um, the uh, triple gold medalist in the women's heptathlon. I, I'm shocked it took you that long. To, I mean, we were all just waiting for you to do that. I so, figured she would sit around for a little while. Um, never mind. What? No, not gonna no go ahead and ask who it is. Did she, ask, did ask she, no, did she retire no, too? No, I, that wasn't what I was going to ask is if we're going to be taking weekly points accumulations oh no 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 we're only gonna this these, these people can only compete at 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 major championships so it's either going to be usa's or the global championships like that's we can't we're not doing weekly well we, we can discuss it listen we she's we, we she, she, I get where she's at. We'll talk about it when when we, after we pick the teams. I don't get where she's at at all. I thought that, we were just. That's what I said. We'll talk. Teams. We will, uh, right, but we keep. It's a it's a uh, it's a keeper league. Me, mm. I'm a I'm a <laughs> snap. I'm a slap this out of both of y'all in a second. <laughs> y'all, oh shit! This was not how this was explained. That's okay. Exactly. Just, not listen, remotely how this up. was explained. Relax, people. I just made that up. I we, know are gonna, we are going to compete from year to year, <laughs> but we're going to redraft every year. Relax. No, anyway. no, 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 none of that. We'll finish, no. finish the picks because that's not <laughs> even remotely the understanding that I had either. Oh, well, that's your fault because I said that from the beginning. Did not. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it is actually your turn. I, I don't even, I need 60 seconds now because I don't know <laughs> what the hell just happened. See? I'm over here playing just a completely pick your different team. game. Don't worry about the rest of it. All you got to do is pick your team. Uh, is, is we're on women? Yes. I, I I'm, I'm taking a delicate. Yes. I'm taking a delicate. Very smart. All right. I'm Adeleke, taking, I'm sorry. Adeleke. I'm taking uh Did I make not make that pick? I guess not. I'm going with Claver. 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 All right. Governor. Mm hmm. Do you have a female than a male? Um. <gasps> Excuse me. This is your second to last female. Female. Hold up. None of y'all got Brittany Brown? No. Nope. nope. <laughs> Give me Brittany Brown, please. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um. And for my final. No. Male. Can't say that. Can't say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. No. 
Um, hmm. I'll take Aragawi for 2000. <laughs> How do you spell that? Uh, A R E J uh, G A W I. Okay. Wait, can we not pick our own people now that you can pick anybody you want? Okay, then I'm picking Lyndon. Hmm. Number three. Um, like I said. Y'all, y'all crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Um. Yeah. I will take. Wait, do I have everybody I needed on that front? Yes, I do. I will take Alexis Holmes. Uh, you are. New Balance. You got. Wait, you're on a guy. Wait, what? Oh yeah, sorry. You're on a guy. Yeah, you're on a guy. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I promise you, you can have Alexis Holmes. I'm not gonna take her. I no, that's you. fine. It's fine. That's fine. I'm just uh, telling you, she will be available because I'm gonna pick a guy and a girl, and none of them are gonna be named Alexis Holmes. That's 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 fine. So, I need a guy now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh. Nope. Not doing that. Not doing that. Not doing that. Not doing that. Shouldn't do that. Oh well. Do I have my one? Is it? No, I, I guess I don't have that. Well, shit. I promise you, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. But did you set the timer? That's all I want to know. Mm -hmm. I, want, well, I stopped, I I stopped to... setting the timer a while back. Oh, see, so he gonna lose, he ain't gonna lose his own pick. See how that works? No, it's the it's the last thing anyway, so it don't even matter. Um, you guys still got a female to do. What are you talking about? Oh well, that's fine. Um, it's fine. I'll I'll just uh, shit. You have to understand my screen keeps freezing. Hold on. What what is happening right now? <laughs> Besides bag fumbling, I do not know. Should I just go to the next available person for for your pick? Right. Uh, you get auto picked. No, you get auto picked. No, it, it it it's fine. I, I'm I'm way past the time. My thing froze. Y'all go ahead. I'll take that man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take Leo Neugebauer. Since, oh, sure, sure. Since Chu took my last pick, because that was definitely who I was going to take was Lyndon. Uh -huh. And um, listen, I'm not going to pat myself on the back, but I'm going to say that this is the absolute steal of the draft to pick this person in the last round of the women. I'm going to take a thing, Mo. Wow. I mean, there's no wow to that. We don't even know if the thing is going to keep running track. Otherwise, okay. we all would have taken her a while ago. I, I, I will absolutely take that chance. <laughs> so am I auto-picking for his last mail? Seriously? No, I picked. No, no, he, he'll he'll pick on. He'll, he'll, oh, he'll okay. Be okay. Okay. But Go that would be funny. Email, though. please. <laughs> I mean, I pulled it up, so. No, what I mean, I, I totally, I totally would have taken Leo if that, if that's the way I was playing the game, which I'll, I will explain at the end, which was clearly unclear to y'all to what you said, but that's so fine. The next, the auto pick would have been Kelvin Kiptum. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want that. And <laughs> auto pick based on what? I think it's world the, rankings. The world ranking list. Yeah. Oh, I ain't, I ain't even been looking at that. But That's I'll, hilarious. But for the for the hell of it, um, wait, I want to make sure that my shit is set. One, because I was trying to do, again, I was trying to do something here. One, two, three. Yeah, and I feel like I could do that. No, I'm 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 gonna stick with Alexis Holmes to guarantee what to. Three, four. Yeah, to guarantee what I was originally trying to do, I'm going to stick with Alexis Holmes. 
I, I like okay. the way that we've all picked our teams because they definitely not have not been similar strategies at all. No. All right, we are on. Um. Oh God, am I saying this right? Oh Gunley. Oh Gunley. The the German shot putter. Mm-hmm. Oh. Randomly right. breaks out into song. I mean, there you go, right? All right, last pick of the draft. Not officially, but last pick of the draft, Mr. Governor Milton. Female pick. By the way, Chu, that's my favorite pick that you've had so far. Cool. Um, I will take Jasmine Moore. Of course you will. Gonna... For the record... Jasmine Moore was going to be my last pick until I thought about a thing more. Until I thought about a thing more. All right, Clyde, what is your last pick? Let's go back now to New Balance. A woman? It's a male. This is yes, your pick but, that you missed. Because you're the mine, only one that mine was a woman. Men. Okay. Yeah, we're like, done. One, two, we three, done, done. four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. so that, that was actually the last pick. That was that the correct. last pick. That was okay, so one, one. Is, I want... I want to point this out and I'm going to explain this because again, when I tell you what I was doing, somebody around here is responsible for a gross miscalculation. If the EP is going to claim that we are playing a different game that we were picking. First of all, we all deserve our ass whooped because no one picked Anna Hall. No one literally. But, no here's, one. but I, nope. I have, I don't deserve my ass kick. I picked the gold medalist. No one In picked her Anna. event. It's, no one fine. picked Anna. And that's, that's not crazy. my fault. No, that's fine. I know why I didn't, because I clearly, apparently misunderstood the rules of what game we were playing. <laughs> However, so um, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to stick with the game that I was playing. Because then we can otherwise, talk about what game you want to play whenever we're done. So just pick. No, no, no. I, but I, I have my unlimited time now since it's I'm. It don't even really? matter. You have thirty more seconds. No, or I else don't you don't have a roster of eight. Hold on, I just got to make sure that the person that I'm going to take is not okay. So for the record, and I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm being very, very serious. Um, is Mr. Karani James continuing to rate to run track? Yes, yes. Because yes. I almost took him too. And I, I will take Karani James and my and my mission has been completed. So okay. you and I will what, tell you what, what was it your is. mission. Understand what I thought we were being asked to do was draft a fantasy team. Like you're like we all have our team members. Right. And to do a track in, in, in the fantasy world, we're all gonna take our teams and go to this fantasy track and run a track meet against each other. Mm. okay right i i get that in that example my team ain't gonna win the meet on points but what <laughs> my team is gonna do is break every world record in every relay and that's <laughs> the team that i was drafting with some highlight I, like I got the four by one world record i got men and women i got the men and women four by four world record i got the mixed relay world record so when the meet is over huff may win the point total but my <laughs> team is going to be remembered okay and my team's going to be the names that everybody remembers. And that's what I was doing. So the idea so that we're picking day, teams to be scored during the season as it progresses is some nonsense. That is not the game. That was why at would all. that not be the game? It's a that doesn't even make any Time sense. Out. Time out. When you if you play fantasy football. <laughs> kind of, yeah, sure. Okay. If you if you play fantasy anything, you pick a roster to then run that <laughs> roster out. To compete against other people's rosters, you you get points commensurate with what they do, and then at the end of the year, you crown a champion. So no matter, yeah, but you, what, it was never made clear that we were picking a fantasy team for the per, for the moving forward world championship. <laughs> that was not that was okay, never stated. Let, let me ask this it question. It ain't stated in text. It ain't Wait, stated on the on the camera. It was never stated second. in our conversation. If it was stated that we we're picking a fantasy roster, what did you think we were going to do with it? I just told you. <laughs> okay. A fantasy team at a fantasy track meet that we was having together against our so team. So your fantasy team at this fantasy track meet is still not going to win. You've already admitted that. It will accomplish your goal. So that's yes. good for you. you, that, you and that's what, I, that's what I was doing. Okay. Here's the thing. You would have picked the same team no matter what we was doing. No. Because you're no. ready. No, sir. No, no, no. 
No, if I if, if the game was actually like in when Japan comes, if we're gonna sit down and have a score of our fantasy team, I would have picked it. I would have picked winners in as many events as possible, which is what mm-hmm. you were trying to do. Absolutely, I understand that. But that's why halfway through, I'm like, wait, what is he doing? Because <laughs> like that's not he's just trying to win on points. Points of what? What, what are we discussing? Like, yes. So well, anyway. <laughs> Since <laughs> since the other two people in the class were paying attention, <laughs> what what were you two trying to achieve with your rosters? Fantasy football. Okay, so she was listening. Wait, wait, wait. Fantasy That's football why... for what two? For what? The accumulation you were of points. In the middle too, because you said, "Wait, these people can only compete when." She well, thought they what... were competing every week. Yeah, so she, I so thought we were thought doing we were like, a, points like a from, from diamond league meets. Yeah, like right. that. Part. And you so know what? the point is. You we have one, two, three different, three different philosophies on which game we were playing already. Here's what I'm saying: if we if we're gonna do it on 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 Diamond League points, I'm still fine with that. I'm okay if that's what y'all really thought we were doing. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any points out of my two decathletes, but I mean my decathlete, yeah, my half athlete, but that's okay. See, that's a BS. We'll figure it yeah, out. See, what game did you think we were playing? Yeah, so that, like I think his answer is actually most relevant. He's usually paying attention. He, he sits in the front of the class. What did you think we were doing, KST? Uh, you're picking a team for the entire season, right? So no, so, no, no! Don't say it like this. No, don't say so this, what I'm saying is that's no, not so, what you so, thought we so, were doing. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, so if him and Chu thought that, then let's do that. I'm okay with that. Listen, right? I don't care because about none of that. because Before, like and another else, another snub, another snub. No one picked Miss Yavi either. Look yeah. again, if that's what we're doing, I'm here for it, and let's do it. Right, hey. but here's I'm I'm gonna ask this question: Are we compete? Is every meet count the same, or are we gonna are we doing double points for the championships? Well, fit that'll be TBD. It's a question. No. TBD, a TBD. Sense. Yeah, we're done. We're done. <laughs> Not All right. Sense. Anyway, Chuck, All you, right. you 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 write it any way you want, Clyde. We'll play okay, the game so, you want to play. <laughs> so no, hey, no. Have... And again, I didn't think there was an actual game. Y'all said a fantasy draft of a fantasy team, and my team's representing Puma. And your team's think, representing Nike. I think I'm everybody about in the world is going to agree me. with us. It didn't you agree. Don't put together a fantasy roster that doesn't compete. Kay. What the f- bro? What are you talking about? <laughs> because let's be All clear: right. <laughs> fantasy games in real world are about money. If I was trying to win money in an actual, like on actual results based on whatever, I agree. Mm-hmm. I would have drafted it the way you did, trying to get as many winners in the competition as possible for the one meet. I totally get that. I want to point winners. out that you, the creator of this so-called fantasy game, are the only person on the screen that thought it was being played that way. So this is your fault. This is your no, poor no, no, because the other two thought it was being played that way, but with more competitions. They absolutely thought we were going to compete. None of at which the major was clear championships. At all. So, None so at the end of the day, all we're doing is adding more, adding more competitions than I thought. But it's still the same tenor of the law. The three of us understood what we were doing. Anyway. I'm breaking all the world records. Sounds all right. good. Okay, world records are mine. So I will recap. I will recap the teams on Twitter or X, whatever it's called now. I didn't even um, draft a hurdler for Christ's sake. That's your fault. <laughs> no, <laughs> on purpose. With, no, you I'm did. Trying you, to have, you had Sid. I'm trying to you, be remembered. You, 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 Sid. you drafted Sid. You do Sid is a hybrid. It. Sid's on the four by one, four by four, the open four, and the goddamn hurdles. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, what you got, Chief? Nothing. We're done. I'm going to put this on X. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> We've occupied these people's times way too long already. <laughs> but anyways, that was fun. We always have fun doing this. This. this I'm practice. changing my team to Team Jordan. So, well, with that being definitely... said, everyone have a great week. Have a great weekend. High schoolers, have fun. Collegians, have a great fall break if you're on it. Uh, adults, adults, we'll wait for Columbus Day to be a Monday off again in, in our lifetime. Everyone, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.